Welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. And today, we're going to do something very different, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So let's have them graphically run all the colors across the screen that you need to do this painting. They'll come across in exactly the same order that I have them on the palette, starting with the white and working around. While they're doing that, come on up here to the canvas. Let me show you something. I think you'll like this. Today, I have a, a canvas, same size as always use, 18 by 24, but I've taken contact paper and put around the entire canvas except for an oval right here in the center. This is just plain old contact paper that you buy at your local drugstore or hardware store or whatever, right over the canvas. And then we're going to paint a beautiful little painting in here and have some fun. So let's do it. Let's do it. Tell you what, I'm going to start out today with a little bit of the bright red, and then I'm going to go right up into a little touch of titanium white. A little more of the red, so I make a nice pinkish color, okay? Let's go right up here. And I'm just gonna put in a little tiny pink glow right there, just using the little crisscross strokes. Just right across there. Okay, now, without cleaning the brush, I'm going into a small amount of phthalo blue. Small amount, it's very strong, very, very strong. And then right underneath the pink, a little tiny bit of blue, just across like that. This will be a very soft and very effective painting. Beautiful little painting. I think you're really going to enjoy it. I'm, I'm so excited about this one. Okay, now, without cleaning the brush, I'm going into the least little touch of phthalo green. Let me say that again. Least little touch. Boy, that stuff's strong. It'll eat up your whole world in, a, in just a heartbeat. Okay, let's go right up here. Now then, I'm gonna have some water in this painting, so I'm gonna pull this right across, just like this. And water, unless it's moving, is level. So try to keep these strokes as straight as possible. See there? Try to keep it straight. You don't want your water to, to run out of your painting and get your floor wet. You'll be mad at me. Now, leave a little area in here that's unpainted. That'll end up being very pretty. Now I have several brushes going so I don't have to clean them. Okay, now, right here, where this blue and pink go together, I'm just gonna blend this till it's nice and soft. So you can't tell where one color stops and the next one starts. Look at that. And then very lightly, just take the brush strokes out. Down here in the water, all the way across. See how smooth and gentle that is now? But your little light area right there still remains. Okay, let's have some fun now. Now then, let's get dangerous. I'm gonna go into the midnight black, just a little of it on the fan brush. Okay, let's go right up here. Now then, I want some contrast in this sky. So I'm gonna take this and just dance it around, let it play. Just let it go, ooh, look at that. I bet, I bet you're upset with me now. Just let all kinds of little things happen. This is just midnight black. Big old cloud lives right up here. Look at that. Just let it play. A little more of the paint. Maybe there's got a long finger that comes right out through there. Now, when you're doing yours, you put clouds wherever you want them. Don't try to just copy what we have here. Everybody sees nature differently. There. All right. Now then. Take a nice dry brush. Be sure your brush is dry. If it's wet at this point, you're gonna become a mud mixer and you're gonna be upset with me. Tiny, tiny little circles. And just begin very lightly, very lightly, blending this. Just blend it. Little tiny circles. And I'm just using just the corner of the brush. Just the top corner of the brush. Very, very small little circles. There we go. Now then, with a clean fan brush, I'm gonna go back and pick up a little bit more of my pink. That was the bright red and the titanium white. All right, now back up here. Now I'm gonna just let some of this bounce right over this dark color. Just push it in. Get tough with it. Get tough with it. Just let it bounce and play. Look at that. Wherever you think it should be, that's where it should be. 
And once again with our large brush, very gently, just barely, barely grazing the canvas. This is three hairs and some air. Just caress it. Just caress it. This is your good friend. You don't want to hurt it. You just want to caress it. See, now very gently. Very gently. Just take the brush strokes out. Isn't that easy? You have one fantastic sky. Isn't that pretty? I think you'll really enjoy doing that one. Okay, today, let's take the old round brush. And I'm gonna go right into a little bit of the dark sienna, a little Van Dyke brown, a little sap green. Just mix them on the brush here, tap. So you're really tapping that brush. Okay, let's go up here. Now then, maybe there's some happy little trees that live. Yep, right there, you're right, you were right. There he is. See, and these are just little background things. They live back here, wherever you want them in your world. Oh, there's a nice one. There's a nice one. He just, he got a little extra sunlight. Grew big, strong. A little more of the color. And wherever you want them. All right. And that quick, they have some nice little background trees. Now then, we'll just take a knife. I'm just using the small one, but either one will work. And just take, and just scratch in a few little stick and twig indications here. Or you can take your liner brush and paint them in. I find it a little faster just to drop them in with a knife. There we go. All right. Now then, same old dirty brush. Now I'm gonna go right into the yellows. This is a little bit of yellow ochre, a little cad yellow. Shoot, we'll take a little Indian yellow and some sap green. And we just mix them right on the brush. Now my yellows are a little bit thinner than my other paints, so they mix easier. Okay, let's go right up here. Now then, let's put some highlights on some of these. And I'm just taking the top corner of the brush and all I'm doing is just barely touching. Just barely touching. See, and make little forms and shapes in there. Okay, just look at that, look at that. Look at that. Just drop it in. Mm, all kinds of little things. Let them happen. Let them happen. Remember, there's layers back here. There's not just one old bush living back here. There's layers. And that's what helps create the illusion of depth. Distance in your painting. And a least little touch of the red. Ooh, put a nice red one right there. That one will really stand out. Pretty little devil. Mm. Okay, a little color on that. And just sort of work these yellows and reds back and forth. Just to create whatever effect that you want. Remember, this is your world. And you can do anything that makes you happy on here. Any old thing. And that quick, you have a very, very nice, effective little background. Now then, let's begin working forward on this and putting some more distance into it. I'm going to go right into these browns that I had, same color I made the trees with. A little dark sienna, a little Van Dyke brown. Okay, let's put in some base color here. And all I'm going to do is just tap. Begin thinking about the lay of the land. How do you want your land to flow? I want it to sort of come down like that. Look at there. Just like so. Just like that. All right. You know, it's hard for me to believe with the completion of this series, we'll have over 100 half-hour shows. That's almost unreal to me. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Now I'm going to pull down a little bit of that color. And this will end up being reflections. Just pull it straight down. Straight down like that. Look at there. See, instant reflections. Very lightly go across. Just go right across. And then take another old brush here. Same size, 
this two inch brush we'll go into a little green a little yellow and I'm just going to tap some of these colors on here same colors we use to highlight the trees in the back okay let's go right up here now then begin at the most distant area and start working forward all we're doing see I'll do that real slow so you can see it just tap and you work in layers work in layers okay here comes another layer and let it follow through. It's just like bowling. See, let it follow through there. Just let it come right on down. Layer after layer after layer. However many layers that you want. Wherever you want it to go. Okay. See there? That easy. It creates the illusion of land back here. And painting is just games of illusions. That's really all it is. Okay, now let's take the knife, take a little bit of brown, and back in here we'll put the indication of a little bit of dirt. Got to have something for all these little things to live on. Just a little brown. This is a little Van Dyke. Just rubbing it on. And I'll take a little brown and white, same color, just brown and white, and add the least little touch of highlight here and there. Don't overdo, just a little. Hmm. Hmm, that's super. A little bit of the liquid white, cut across it, and we'll put a happy little water line back here. Not too much. This is done with a very firm pressure. You're really cutting into the canvas. Just get tough with it. Just get tough with it. And keep these lines basically straight. You don't want your water to run right out of your painting. Okay, I'll add a little bit more of the browns here. Let's go right here. So you just keep making decisions. Build plane after plane. As many planes as you want in your world. Complete the area that's the farthest away first and work forward. A few little happy reflections just by pulling straight down. Going across. Very light. Just whisper light. I have two brushes going here, so I don't have to clean them each time. Go back into my brush that has the yellows on it, tap a little color, put a little bit of the bright red on there. There we go. Let's go up here. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Just all kinds of little things. There. And if you want one to stand out, add a little brighter color to it. Look at there. See that little, that little hill now stands out all the rest. Maybe we'll make that one stand out a little more too. Okay, we need a little bit of ground area underneath this one. Don't want it to get get upset because it doesn't have any. Okay, a little bit of the brown and white highlight color. Just barely touch. Barely touch. Then I'll just tap a little color in there and that'll bring all that together. Okay, that's such a pretty little area. Shoot, if, if I was there, I'd have to have a little cabin right there. Let's do that. Let's go right into some Van Dyke Brown. And right here, right here, we'll start with the back eave. Just drop that in. Then do the other side of the roof. That easy. Need a little front on this little rascal. Both sides. Need a side. Don't want that to fall off. Gotta put a side on him. Okay. Now then, let's just take a little bit of the brown and white here. And we'll just put a little highlight on the roof. This is an old cabin. I like to do old buildings. If you've painted with me before, you know that. I like these old buildings. Take a little bit of light color, light brown right there, and just highlight it a little touch so it stands out. A little bit of highlight on the boards. Just shoot. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Now I'm just gonna take the point of the knife and cut through and make the indication of little boards. I tell you what, let's get the small knife. The small knife gets in these little places a lot better. This guy's like me. He ran out of storage space and he built a little shed right there. See it? That easy. You got a happy little shed. You need a little highlight on the top of the shed. It's got a little roof on it too so it doesn't leak. There. There we go. A little bit of 
highlight on that area. Now keep this right in here, very dark, very dark, because not much light's going to hit in there. Let's put a let's put a little door right there. We need a way to get in and out of this nice little cabin. A little touch of lighter. I'm still using a small knife. Okay, I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of blue and white and put the indication. Maybe there's a little window right there, and we'll put one right there. Just the least little hint of blue. Okay, now then, let's take a fan brush. We will use some yellows and some greens. All right, let's go out up here. Now then, we can just pop in some happy little bushes, and this cleans up the the bottom of the cabin. Just cleans it all up. And this guy's like me. He didn't cut his lawn very well, and it's growing up around the around the edge of his house. So let's let some little weeds grow right up around his house. And maybe we can take the little knife here. Put the indication of a little tiny path right there, just a little indication. All right. Now then, we got a little cabin. Got a little cabin. I'm gonna put some water lines right under here. Use a little bit of the liquid white. Just like that. All right. And I tell you, this was a fun little painting. I knew you'd enjoy it. I knew you'd enjoy it. I'm gonna use some of the browns and greens again. Okay, let's go right up here. Maybe there's a big old tree and he lives. Yep, you're right. He lives right there. And he hangs right out there. That's what I used to do when I was a kid. I just would hang out. That's what this tree's doing. It's just sort of hanging out here, having a good time. There we go. Maybe he comes right on down here. All kind of little bushes are happening. There they go. Oh, look at there. Another little peninsula comes right out here. Just sort of let these things happen. Don't, don't try to plan everything. Let them happen. Let them happen. That's when it becomes fun. Okay, now very lightly we'll pull a little touch of that down. Like so. And that'll, as we know, will end up being reflections. Pull it down. Across. Very lightly. Now then, we need some land. So we'll we just drop the land in now. There we go. A little bit of the brown and white. Maybe throw a least little touch of blue in there. That'll, that'll give it a sort of a gray color. But don't overmix your color. Don't overmix it. Let all these things just sort of happen. All right, I'm gonna take a little liquid white on my liner brush, and maybe over here, there's a tree trunk. He's sort of a light color. Bloop. See there? Turn that brush, it makes all kinds of little things just happen. Makes it a little more interesting than just a straight old tree trunk. Give it a little turn, little wiggle. All kinds of pretty things. And wherever you want them. Maybe there's one that Yep, it is right there. Okay. Now then, now then we can we can put some highlights on that tree. We'll take some of the yellow, little sap green. Load this two-inch brush full of paint. Really load it full. Okay, let's go right up here. Now then, you don't want to cover all the dark. See, just highlight these. And if your paint is too thick and won't stick, add a tiny, tiny little bit of the liquid white or paint thinner, either one. This is sticking very well, but if you're having trouble, that's the way you make it stick. You start with a very thick base color, very thick paint, and then you can add layers of thinner paint right over the top of it. Phew, look at all those little leaves happening there. See. And think about patterns here. Think about those limbs that create these little things. Don't just, don't just throw them in. Down here, we got some happy little bushes that live. Look at all them. Look at there. There's one, wherever you want them. Add a little bit of the red. We'll get bright, bright. Ooh, nice one, nice one. Sometimes some of these colors happen in 
makes them excited. Just they just jump right out there on you. Now, with just a clean knife, we can create the illusion of a few little sticks and twigs wherever you want them. A little bit of liquid white. And we'll put a water line right into this. See, that cleans up the bottom and, and sort of separates everything. Look at there. A few little ripples on the water. Keep those straight also. Most important. Most important. I tell you what, let's have some fun now. Watch right here. Let's bring the camera right up in here. I want you to see this very close. Okay, come right up here. All right, watch. Now we'll take the contact paper off. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? I told you you'd like that. I told you you'd like that. Now then, let's really have some fun. Already, didn't that make a beautiful little painting? There lives a tree right here. Big tree. I know there's a big tree right here. I'm still using just the brown. Even going to go into a little bit of the blue and a little bit of crimson. There. And I want this to just sort of come right on around. What makes this interesting is that it breaks the borders. Breaks the borders. Just sort of let this sort of float around wherever you want it to go. Mm. Now, if you're interested in selling paintings, this one, will, this one will load your wallet up. This is it. All these colors. All I'm doing is putting a dark base color in here so we can, we can come back and put some highlights on them. Maybe. Yep, look at there. See, there's a little projection. It comes right out there. And you can make as many of these little projections, little peninsulas as you want in your painting. And they help create the illusion of depth, distance. I know you hear me say that over and over. But to me, it's very important to have paintings that have depth in them. I don't like paintings that are flat. Now, very lightly, go across. Now, then, maybe we'll just bring this right on down. I know, let's have it come way on over here. Why not? Now, when you're doing this, you let it go wherever you want it. See, just very lightly, very lightly. But isn't that exciting when you pull that contact paper off and, and there it sits? I think that's one of the most beautiful little paintings we've ever done in any of the series. It just, it just makes you feel good. Okay, let me get a fan brush here. I'll go right into some of the browns. Okay, let's go up here. Let's put a happy little tree trunk right there. Right there. There it comes. We'll give him a little friend. Trees get lonely. They need friends. Take a little bit of brown and white. Touch of the red. Touch of the red. Boy, it's so strong. Now then, let's just take the knife. Just drop in some nice little highlights here and there. Just to make that old tree stand right out. Look at that. Just pops him right out there. Mm. Okay, now then, I'm gonna take the liner brush, a little bit of liquid black on it, and just put the indication here and there. Hope you can see those, it's quite dark. We'll have some come right on out here. See there? Just some nice little, nice little limbs. There they come, wherever you want them. There, right there's one over there. See, just as many of them or as few as you want. You take a little bit of the liquid white and very lightly highlight them, make them stand out, like so. Okay, back to my knife. I'm gonna put a little land right here. Just sort of let it come right around. Want it to make it look like it just sort of sort of goes around the corner. Bloop. A little bit of the brown and white highlight. Like that. A little bit of liquid white. That'll cut us in a nice little water line. All right. Now then, let's go back to our two-inch brush that has the color on it. 
And let's begin putting in some little highlights. All we're doing here is just barely tapping the yellows and the greens. See, don't kill all your darks. I know you get tired of hearing me say that, but it is so important. If you kill all those darks, then you're gonna lose your depth in your tree. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. See, that dark makes that really stand out. And as I said earlier, if you have trouble making your paint stick, add a little bit of liquid white or a little bit of thinner, either one. The liquid white will make your color a little lighter. If you use thinner, the color remains the same, but the paint gets thinner, so that's why they call it thinner, huh? All right. You didn't think I knew that. Once again here, you're working in layers. See, create one layer at a time and work forward, 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 forward. It's most, most important that you do that. And create the illusion of little bushes and little trees and all these little happy things. So let a little of this color just wander right on over here. We don't know where it goes. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this painting as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. This was something I worked on for quite a while. And I've been waiting to show it to you because I knew you'd be excited about it. I'll tell you what, I think we're about ready to sign that one. Take a little bit of the bright red on my liner brush. Let's go right here, we'll sign this one, call it finished. And once again, I really hope you've enjoyed this one. It's been a great pleasure bringing it to you. And so, from all of us here, until next time, happy painting. God bless.